Hey boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day four of Marion's 31 day challenge, 31 videos. Uh, this morning, um, I'm going to do something with, um, D and I'm going to do a tag with doilies. Um, this goal, um, was to do to use up my doilies and I have tons of doilies um, in my collection of scrapbook stuff. So here I have some pre um, embossed tags. Um, I'm going to probably use the shell, shell collage tag um, and then these three doilies. Um, some of either some or all and then I've got a picture and, um, well, I got several pictures and a flower. And then I'll, ha I'll add some bling to it as well. Um, and this lace trim and some ribbons and fibers. So let's get started. Um, first I have, I am going to distress this with, um, vintage photo distress ink. So I'm going to take my applicator tool. I'm going to go ahead and rub over it. So, my kids are in school today. It's back to school. Woohoo! I'm just going to go all over it. Um, and then I'm going to apply a top coat of a different color. So, let's go ahead and distress it all over. Um, I need to use these doilies so I'm going to do that hopefully I can finish this within the 15 minute time frame that you're allowed on YouTube so here is that and then I'm going to go over it with my weathered wood distress ink Hopefully you guys can see this. So I'm going to lightly go over it just to bolden the embossed parts a little bit. Try to get as much as I can to stand out. So, and I love this color. It's blue as you can, you know, tell already in my videos. That's my favorite color. It's been my favorite color since high school, so there we go. Add a little color to that. So there's that. Then I'm going to decide which photo I want. And most of my images I got off of um, the graphicsfairy.blogspot.com or um, magicmoonlightforimages.com. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim around it. I, I like the excess sometimes, but sometimes I just want the image itself. So, there's that. Um, then I'm going to add some of this doily right there. And I'm going to use my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. Um, I use this for all my paper flowers. And it's stuck, so I've got a safety pin handy um, always because I always have a hard time trying to locate a piece. So let's go ahead and apply a little bit to the edges until I can find out. I'll do that right here. Go ahead and do. Hopefully, you can see that. So we have that. So now I just I'm just gonna kind of like fold on the parts where it's gonna get cut off, so that way I can glue it down. Okay, so that's where I need to get glue down. So I'll just add an extra little bit of glue just to the edges. You don't need a whole lot of glue with this glue. It's I could have used my ATG gun, but then the holes here you can 
Um, it'll just go right through it. Um, so let's trim this off. And I'm using my Honeybee Scissors by EK Success, and they're really awesome. They're sharp. I've cut my fingers several times with these scissors because I end up cutting and not realizing. So here's a part of that doily. Let's see. I'm going to use this part of the doily here, up here. Just partial doily. Okay. So I'll leave it like that since it's scored and then now I know where to glue. It's hard to use doilies in some projects because sometimes they it's it's really thin paper and it's just hard hard to glue down sometimes. Let's see. See as you can see I'm having a hard time. Oh well, look at that. I have two pieces. <laughs> That's okay. I was wondering why it was like thick. So I'm going to just trim off the excess and just give a little more glue to the edge as well. Sometimes I normally tear it off, you know, just to give it a little teared look. But today I'm going to do it nice and pretty. So that came off a little bit. There we go. And see, you can see it's kind of like hanging off a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little more. So I have there, so I'm going to take my vintage photo again and kind of just rub it on there. Just lightly rub it because you don't want to tear the paper off. And then take the applicator and just rub some more. And you can see it's dark here because um, the background of this shows right through it. So that's okay. Go around it. And then I'm going to add a little bit to the edges of this one down at the bottom and on the side. And then I'm going to go all the way around just to darken it up a little bit. And then on here, I'm going to use my applicator tool to actually apply some, like a darker color to the doily. Kind of blend it in the background. Just got to be careful with when you're doing this because the doily can and will rip. Um, but sometimes that's okay if you want to go for that look. So can barely see it, so then that's what I'm going for. Give it that extra little look. See here, it's it's like not going because of the glue got on top of it, so it's not going to get as dark on top of that doily. And if you want to, you know, you know, get a little di different color shade, add some more ink to this. But I kind of like that. So now I'm just going to play with where. I want the girl. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to stick her there. But first I'm going to add this piece of lace. I cut off this tiny piece of lace on here. Go ahead and add that there. Or should I add it to the corner? Hmm. Now I'll add it to the bottom. So I'll go ahead and Use my Scotch Quick Red Glue for the bottom. Normally I would use Fabri-Tac um, that I get at Michael's or Walmart. Um, but I don't have any right now. So I'll use that. And it's just as good. Um, you can't see it. But it just takes longer to dry. I might need a little more glue. And it's kind of like a pinkish beige color on the lace. Okay. So 
So that's going to dry. While that dries, I'll apply my photo, which I'm going to do on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and use my mounting tape for that, which I have here. And just a little in the middle. See, when I tend to do this, I tend to cut my finger, which is not good. So, so I'll go ahead and peel this off. Cover that right there. So this is a nice cute collage piece. Oh, the flower came out. And then I'm going to most likely add the flowers here. So I just want to distress the edges of the Prima flower just a little bit. So I have a little ink left on um, my applicator tool. And I'll go ahead and add a little color to that. And then I'm going to just add some quick dry glue on the back. Kind of cover up that line of the lace. And then add a little glue to there, offset this a little bit. Then now I'm going to go ahead and use this bling from Studio 18 that my mother-in-law sent me. Or I got in a rack, can't remember. I have a bad memory. I need to like organize the things people sent to me so I can find it easier. Um, so there's that, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and take some of this maroon ribbon and this orange one. I want a little bit of the orange one as well. And I'm not measuring, I'm just seeing how I, you know, how big, how long, how short, how small, what not. I want the ribbon, and then I'm going to go ahead and use this gold color. And I, re I received all this in a rack. See, they're all different colors, or different sizes, as, as you can see. And then this little bit of fiber. So I'll go ahead and do that. Kind of center it, um, the small one, because you don't want that to be off too much, and you want to be able to catch that with the tag. So, go here, see and that orange one may be a little too, too small for this, and the sun's coming out here in Florida, woo, <laughs> I've been like, it, it was so, it was a little chilly this morning for back to school, but you know, dress the kids warm, I dressed warm as well, so sorry. If you can't see that. So I'm trying to pull it through. There we go. Oops. That one didn't go all the way through. Here we go. Pull it. There we go. So here's the fibers and the ribbons. And just, you know, pull it tight, but not too tight because you don't want to rip the tag. So, see the orange piece down here, there we go, just, the ribbon, that's why I don't use ribbon too much up here because it's, you know, a little, you know, it doesn't always want to stay, and if it doesn't stay, you can always use glossy accents, like underneath, when you tug it. So here's the tag, then it, I feel like it needs something else, but I'm not sure, um, See, I added my flowers on here that I bought yesterday. Um, I'll go ahead and add a, um, some sticker letters later. Um, I'm going to put beauty. So, there's my tag with the doilies. I got one goal done um, using the doilies. Um, I've got lots more to go with the doilies, but that's okay, right ladies? Because, you know, you have extras. Um, so thanks for watching, ladies. Um, got the doily tag. I will go ahead and cut these off. So that's my day four of Marion's Challenge. And this is the D project that I have. 
the goal that I wanted to get done. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.